The IANA is the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. This is an organization that keeps track of the pools of IP addresses. <clears throat> we are specifically looking at the IP version 4 addresses, which are 32-bit long. The IANA will take blocks of these addresses and make them available for purchase. You don't purchase them directly through the IANA, you go through another party. Um, you seek out the internet registry. Most of the time you will refer to your ISP, which stands for your internet service provider, and they will sell you internet routable IP addresses. Those are all addresses that have to be unique out on the internet. Now, with that being said, there's also the realization that there are only so many numbers available. One thing that was decided per the RFC 1918 was we needed addresses that could be used privately at no cost that would only be seen within the organization. They are known as private networks. So, three blocks of the internet addresses were pulled out and given specifically for private internet use. These addresses will not be found out on the internet. For example, if you were to go and actually put in an IP address instead of a name such as Facebook is a commonly known website address, it has a specific IP address. That IP address would never fall in the, these, these three ranges we're fixing to talk about. We also just discussed Class A, Class B, and Class C addresses. The first block is pulled from the Class A. It is 10. They gave us the whole 10 network to work with. That means we can use 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 through 10 dot 255 dot 255 dot 255. And we can work with that number range to our heart's content. The next one they gave us is from class B, 172.16 with the prefix of 12. Now do you remember what that means? They're giving the first 12 bits to the network. They gave us, <clears throat> out of class A, they gave us three total Optics to work with. 45. So they gave us a total of 24 bits, and you'll hear it referred to as a 24 bit block to assign inside our private address, inside our private network. With the B, though, the class B address, they gave us a 20 bit block because the first 12 bits they said have to be. 172.16. So we're using just a portion of the second octet any way we choose. The address ranges that we get to use then are 172.16.0.0 all the way through 172. Dot thirty one dot two fifty five dot two fifty five. So that means we can have networks that start with one seventy two dot sixteen and then our host numbers one seventy two dot seventeen, one seventy two dot eighteen, all the way up through one seventy two dot thirty one. 
Those addresses specifically are for private addressing. So that you understand how you get 172.16 through 172.31, as I already drew out a chart, remember every octet of an IP address has eight bits. Those eight bits all have the same value scheme. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Starting at the second octet, that would be the ninth bit, 128. The tenth bit is 64. The eleventh bit is 32. The twelfth bit is 16. The prefix that they gave us is 12. So we're going to draw a line here. They told us for RFC 1918 that these bits, 128 has to be turned off, 64 has to be turned off, 32 has to be turned off, but 16 is turned on. If you make the remaining bits all zeros, that's how you get the starting address of 172.16.0.0. Now, to get the maximum number addresses, we make the remaining bits that we get to use, because they gave these to us, we get to turn them all on to get the maximum number. When we turn them all on, then 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 31. That's why we get that total range of network addresses. I hope that helps clear it, clear it up a little bit on why we get 172.16 through 172.31. Finally, the Class C address range, they gave us 192.168.0.0 through 192.168. Dot 255, dot 255 to work with. So here they gave us 16 bit block to work with. Here they gave us 20 bits to work with. And then the class A address. They gave us a total of 24 bits to work with.